Hi folks, it's just me, Friendly Neighborhood Walter Shepard, and yes, I did something different with my facial hair. I stopped shaving a couple of weeks ago, and now I'm just playing around with it. Uh, my friend gave me a one of those clipper things for Christmas, so now I'm just messing around. I doubt I'll keep it, but uh, for now, um, I do think sometimes because um, I just get bored of doing the same thing the same way all the time. I'll probably shave my head to uh, this uh, uh, this spring at some point. It's getting really thin on top, I noticed. So um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll just buzz the whole thing. Um, I've done it before. That that, that would that would probably be about uh, number eight in the past uh, 12 years that I've completely shaved my head. But um, what the heck am I on about? I just sort of uh, started off with a digression more or less. Anyway, um, nothing serious to talk about. Um, just kind of something interesting that, uh, that I found. Um, I came across this verse on Facebook and it reminded me of something someone had said a while ago and um, or something someone had questioned a while ago and that is Matthew 28 verse 20 when uh, Jesus is talking about uh, teaching them um, that means, or Jesus was talking to his disciples, which also means he's talking to you. Um, when Jesus said, um, all authority in heaven and earth has been given to him. Therefore, you people, uh, you wise servants out there, go and make disciples of all nations. And uh, verse 20, and teaching them to obey everything that uh, Jesus has commanded us. And then uh, this is the, uh, the, the the final sentence is what this uh, what what this person was questioning. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Now, that person had um, wondered. They seemed um, as if though Jesus were going to abandon um, the Christians. He was going to abandon um, his disciples. He was going to abandon anybody that uh, that called him uh, their Lord and Savior. And um, it took me a while um, to think about that and to pray about that, and then um, it finally it finally came to me. The, uh, I, I believe the Holy Spirit revealed to me what that was talking about. Um, and um, this, uh, I have to show you a diagram in order to uh, make sense of that, because right now we are in what I believe is the second age of uh, mankind's existence <clears throat> and we've got two more ages to go um, we've got uh, the coming age which is the thousand years of peace and then we have the age after that but taking all three ages together um, the earth as it was the the, the first earth that um, existed between Adam and Eve and the flood and then the second earth would be from the flood to the end of the tribulation period. And then the third earth would be the thousand years of peace, where the earth is finally restored. And then the fourth earth will be after Judgment Day, which is after the thousand years of peace, when God moves the heavenly city onto the earth. Then um, that becomes the fourth age, or the final age, or the, or the greatest of all ages. But in terms of what Jesus said, he will be with us to the end of the age, um, this is what I had because sometimes diagrams help. So here we have uh, Adam and Eve and the middle point of time. This is time altogether. This is 7,000 years from uh, Adam and Eve to the end of the thousand years of peace. And uh, see, we uh, I, I just put Jesus in the middle of time. So here we have the first earth and then we have the flood. And right now we are in here somewhere, right in there, and eventually the rapture is going to happen, uh, and, and, and the tribulation period uh, will be done and over with, and then we'll all come back for the thousand years of peace. And once we've built up the planet, uh, made it technologically advanced, and um, restored Eden um, to the earth, that's when God, uh, God eternalizes it. He, uh, he sends out a fire and he purifies everything. So everything that's been purified and made eternal um, will last forever. 
and then from that point on, um, that comes the fourth and final age when God moves the heavenly city onto the earth. So I believe what Jesus was talking about is that he will be with us human beings, um, his disciples, those whose names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. He will be with us until the end of the age. And so that's the end of time, basically, because we have the 7,000 years that it's taking um, mankind to become redeemed of the first mistake that Adam and Eve made. So at the end of the age, um, at the end of the thousand years of peace, Satan is going to tempt um, flesh and blood mankind again, and, um, and they will say no. Some will give in, yes, but for the most part, the majority of the flesh and blood people during the thousand years of peace, when tempted by Satan, they will say no. So it will have taken 7,000 years for mankind to uh, finally learn their lesson and be fully obedient to God and um, just say no to disobedience. And so um, mankind at that point <clears throat> um, will have finally grown up um, for those 7,000 years. Jesus, our big brother, um, Jesus, our uh, Lord and Savior, our master, our commander, he is, you could say, uh, uh, metaphorically, he's, he's, he's holding our hands um, until we learn to become um, sons and daughters of God, until we, and, until we uh, get to the point where we're at the wedding ceremony and we become one with the Son, who's one with the Father, and that's when we get appointed... <laughs> that was bound to happen one day, and and that's when we get appointed our positions of authority for the uh, for the thousand years of peace. And um, it'll be after the thousand years of peace that he won't need to hold our hands anymore. Um, we can uh, be dispersed out into the universe. Um, we can be um, we can be the sons and daughters of God that have their own places of authority, um, and uh, and can just go out into the universe, into whatever whatever galaxy and to whatever else and introduce the gospel or just um, pl uh, um, uh, plot out um, the, the various planets out in the galaxy to, to map them out. Um, but we, um, in a sense, after the thousand years of peace, um, won't need to hold our hand. So... Um, Jesus will be with us up until the end of the age. Then at the end of the age, um, he will let us go. Um, we will still be with him in spirit. We will still be with him, of course. Um, but uh, he won't need to be holding our hands because we will have learned everything we will need to have learned um, about being um, a king or queen um, or a son or daughter of God himself. So Jesus is not going to be abandoning us at the end of the age. Um, he just won't need to babysit us anymore uh, because we will have been given uh, the positions of authority um, that we will need in order to be um, the, uh, the, the sons and daughters of God. Um, and as it says also el elsewhere in the Bible, um, we will receive the kingdom that has been prepared for us. And that's not only the kingdom in heaven that has been prepared for us, that's not only the kingdom that is a thousand years of peace that has been prepared for us, but because we have been faithful with, um, with little, more will be added. And the more that we're faithful with, more will be added from that point on. So when we're faithful with our positions of authority during the thousand years of peace, um, we will get yet more authority to be faithful with, and that will be our very own kingdom um, somewhere out there in, in, in the universe, somewhere out there in the galaxy. Um, there will be a group of people, maybe a, a society of people on a planet, or maybe a group of people or a society of people um, on a more celestial level. So instead of being in charge of... Um, um, overseeing or being the authority figure um, of just one group of people as we were um, during the thousand years of peace will be we will be our, our, our authority will be increased um, after 
uh, the thousand years of peace so that uh, once we're dispersed out in the galaxy, um, who knows, maybe um, the Heavenly Father has prepared um, for some of his servants um, a brand new society on another planet that needs to be taught about, um, about the ways of peace. Because we know in the coming age, after the thousand years of peace, uh, there will be no more pain. There, there will be no more suffering. There will be no more mourning. And there will be no more death. So once we're dispersed out into uh, the universe, we're going to a universe where there is no sin. There is just uh, other beings, other societies out there that have free will, but they still may have conflict. Um, and so it will be up to those with positions of authority to go speak to them and to help them settle their, their differences um, or to uh, um, just point out that in the night sky, the brightest star in the universe will be um, God's earth, um, God's new earth that he is living on. Um, and so um, whatever your position of authority uh, will be, um, you will be a type of Jesus, because we're all being authored um, into his image, and his image is the Son of God, and as the Son of God, um, Jesus' uh, his rule of authority is the planet Earth. Um, he was given um, total, total ownership of the Earth, um, and that is his kingdom, and he's training disciples, he's training us to be just like him, so that we too, um, one day, can do what he did. But we will be doing it on another planet with a whole new group of people. We will be training other people um, to, uh, to become servants of God, um, to become servants of the Lord, um, to eventually become sons and daughters of God. Because uh, they will, um, eventually, they will have the technology on whatever planet it is to, uh, to venture into the stars and to take a trip to Earth and go see God face to face. Because um, during, uh, during that age, after the thousand years of peace, uh, the final age, um, the Bible tells us that uh, we will be able to see God face to face when he moves the heavenly city onto the planet Earth. That um, uh, he, will just be, uh, he will just be our heavenly father. And uh, Earth will be his, his throne. And um, Earth will just be the place where everybody will come to will, will come to visit him. Everybody from throughout the universe, because um, Earth will become um, during the thousand years of peace. We will develop technology um, for 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 leisure and um, for just uh, for just the enjoyment of living a warm and comfortable life and um, and just and just having fun. And so once once um, everything that we build during the millennium has been eternalized, has been made to last forever, um, Earth will become the greatest vacation place um, in the entire universe. And so, if your position of authority is in some other galaxy, again, um, you can help them build up the technology to the point where they can take a ship and go visit Earth and just vacation there for a while and just go spend some time um, with their Heavenly Father, with the, the one who created every single galaxy in the universe, the one who created the entire universe, the one who created every single planet, um, every single moon, every single star, every single celestial body that's out there. Um, if your position of authority is to speak uh, to, a, to a number of those people and help them develop a, um, <clears throat> a technology where they can visit the Father, then that's what you'll do. Again, um, whatever kingdom the Father has prepared for you, you will find out when you get to heaven, or you will find out at some point. At some point, at the end of the age, Jesus will no longer have to um, hold your hand. He will no longer um, have to um, guide you in the way that he would do things, because uh, at the end of the age, at the end of the thousand years of peace, you will have been completely authored into his likeness, into, um, into the likeness of Jesus, who is uh, the Son of God. So, you sons and daughters of God, um, one day um, you will be released uh, on your own, uh, with your own kingdom, with your own position of authority, but for now, um, it's up to us in our present age to uh, be as much like Jesus as possible. And that means making disciples. Um, that means sharing the Word of God. That means knowing the Word of God, reading the Word of God. Um, if you want to be a lot like Jesus, um, 
read the Bible that Jesus uh, read. And the Bible that Jesus read and had memorized is our Old Testament, um, the Torah, which is the first uh, five books of the Bible, um, the books of Moses. Um, uh, Jesus knew that. In, 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 in the books of Moses, in the Psalms, and in the books of the prophets, they all speak about Jesus. So Jesus knew what um, his uh, position of authority was going to be um, when the time came. And so um, it's up to us to uh, be as much like Jesus as possible um, while we are, to be our own version of Jesus. And the best way to do that is to spend time um, with the Father, to spend time um, with Jesus and the Holy Spirit, talking to them. Um, formally and casually, and uh, reading all about them. Again, the New Testament will teach you all about Jesus, and uh, the book of Proverbs will teach you everything you need to know about getting along in this world, and um, the book of Psalms will teach you everything that you need to know about God. And then the whole rest of the Old Testament will teach you even more. So um, do your best right now to, uh, to, um, to be a good example of... Um, of a servant of God, to uh, go make disciples, to share God's word, um, to uh, to build up uh, your positions of authority. So I guess that's about it. Um, nothing serious. Um, the end of the age uh, will come at the uh, end of the thousand years of peace, and uh, then we will be released um, on our own because we will be um, fully authored into the likeness of Jesus, and we will have our our our, our own throne next to Him. Um, next to Jesus, and Jesus' throne is next to God. So uh, we will have um, our positions of authority given to us when we get to heaven after the rapture. Again, I'm just kind of rambling and uh, <laughs> and reiterating the same thing. So uh, so that's it for now. I see my time has come to an end. So um, take care. Be a blessing wherever you are in internet land and YouTube world. Be a good example of a servant of Jesus and get along with your fellow um, with your fellow servant. Um, you can you can discuss and debate, but don't divide. And dividing um, is exactly what the enemy wants to do, or wants us to do, um, is to divide amongst ourselves and to um, and to appear as people who are anything but Christ-like. So do your best uh, to get along with everybody and to help out the people of there, of of, of the world, especially the lost and the hurting, um, because they need um, they need your love the most. So um, that's it. Um, I guess uh, we will see you at the Eastgate Meetup when the time comes. So take care. Stay in prayer. Um, we will see you in Jesus' kingdom somewhere over there, or we will see you somewhere up in the air. Alrighty. Uh, remember, Jesus rules.